I was listening to like one of my beats and I was like, dang, this hi-hat pattern sounds kind of fire, right? And it was like kind of recent one. And there's only one like pack that I have in here that has midis and it's this. And it like, I don't usually uh, change my BPM. Uh, so I usually stay in from 140 to like 160. As you can see, this was 153. So I don't even know what MIDI I used, but like I instantly realized that I used a MIDI because I was like, this is kind of fire. But then it's just like the notes for the hi-hats sound a little different than what I would do. Right. But this also sounds like something that like I could easily do, you know, and then it made me realize is that there's people that religiously use MIDIs to make their beats. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you can do something uh, to basically make it your own like you know you're in school and you gotta make an essay you're copying off your friend because you didn't do it at the last minute but hey just change the words around a little bit change those keywords those power words those phrases you know what i'm saying don't plagiarize too much you know but like basically at this point it's just like people want it done automatically and it's just like they don't even know what they put in there right it just sounds good so who really made the beat or what but anyway that takes away from your brain actually learning how to like draw anything in at all okay um and there's like nothing wrong with that it's because it's just like you know, there's gonna be a point where everything might have already been thought of and it's just like oh, i can just like get it right here and put it in you know what i'm saying but then it's up to you to like take um what you know and apply it to like what you're learning to make it your own uh, so I think like for hi-hats, right, it's real easy to probably just get a MIDI pack for a hi-hat and say this sounds good in the beat. Like, why not? You know what I'm saying? I listen to some of these beats, these industry level beats, and like, it's not like they have hi-hats playing every two, like, whatever, two fills. <laughs> That's how I'm going to say it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they're so, they're, sometimes they're sparse. There's one song and I can't remember. I think it's a little, uh, a young thug song, but the, the, the hi-hats are basically off in the distance little bit at a time like a little roll and it's just like this sounds nice right yeah uh but it's just like i think if people want to get their hi-hats better what you can do is okay put a midi in the next beat that you make all right and say okay this sounds nice right then uh basically then make a new beat right maybe you should say melody if you want uh because it'll make it easier to do what I'm about to say next. It'll make it easier to, by ear, try to then draw in that same mini that you just heard from the last beat and put it in your new beat, okay? So what might happen is that you're either amazing and can do it perfectly, and you're probably memorizing, who knows, right? Or what's gonna happen is that you might offset a couple of notes when you're trying to make your own version of it, and it still might sound good because you added your own rhythm to it and that's very important it's because when we're kids all right let's talk about this i meant to say this earlier this made me come downstairs and actually like say this when you're a kid pin tapping you know what i'm saying you're pin tapping before anything i was just making a beat the other day and i made the melody all right uh, then i laid down the snares before anything and then i put the kicks down and then i altered the kick snare uh pattern uh, because of just the rhythm you know what i'm saying everyone has their own rhythm uh you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I think a lot of the see people are getting trapped by hearing other people's rhythm, other people's tune, you, other people's style, other people's type, right? These tutorials, people just copy and they don't try to apply. They copy and paste, but they don't, like I said, try to apply. 